you splash her down, so automatically I won't be able to go for that underhook in here. From here, I go straight to the wrist. So instead of going here, I have to pop his hip out, uh, his uh, elbow out here. Even if they will get away. I should go for it, but now I'm gonna really have to take the risk because if I do this, open up too much, he can come with another hook near and go for a guard pass. So what I have to do in here, my knee has to stay tight on his body here, even if you take his elbow in, take the elbow in. I'm still gonna go for the other hook, of course. Now I can really go like that deep on my shoulder, but I still get something here. Again, this leg's gonna be ready right corner, so what I have to do here, I'm gonna start to bump him down way, so my guard's up in here, it's not from here. I open my guard, both knees tight. I'm gonna drive him down with his leg, and I can still get that move. So it's gonna be all leg work now. Instead of bringing the posture down, you're gonna have to be able to chop the guy down with his leg here. Now, you see you're able to get the move. So that would be like level two, where you cannot like break the posture down. That one makes it much easier. You're gonna most likely like end up in the perfect position here. It's gonna be a little more work. From here, I have to get that arm again, go for the high guard. This one here, it's what you can. There's no way for you to break that posture down. Just go for the wrist. Now, bump him down. Go right here. Now we can finish the move the same way. This one just here. High guard. Finish the sweep. The reason why I go for the high guard, guys, you can just go straight to the sweep. You can just get in here. Go for the sweep. The reason why I go for the high guard is because I have other options there. I have the sweep, I have the arm bar triangle, almost body, so that's the only reason why I walked down high guard, but you can actually just go straight to the sweep without stopping halfway.